The Governor-General of Australia, His Excellency General, the Honourable Sir Peter Cosgrove, AKMC, and Lady Cosgrove, visited the Larrakia Defence Precinct in Darwin to inspect some of the latest equipment in use by our defence personnel and to talk with representatives of the Regional Force Surveillance Group, which includes Norforce, the 51st Battalion, the Far North Queensland Regiment and the Pilbara Regiment. I've seen technology on display here, which is world's leading technology uh, for the surveillance function. So this unit, which is comprised of wonderful men and women, both First Australians and others, uh, is has got world-class kit. So uh, youngsters will learn and enjoy their service. The Regional Force Surveillance Group also incorporates the Indigenous Development Wing, based in Darwin, who are responsible for the delivery of pathways and education programs to support Indigenous Australians in pursuing a career within the Army. You can carry up to like uh, 10 people and you're like going out and patrol and stuff. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, up to with 1. their 2 stuff on their, yeah, their packs yeah. and all that sort of thing? Yeah, including all our packs and stuff, yeah. Okay. And water jerrys and yeah, most of the trunks with everything in it. And, sure. yeah. In uh, moderate conditions, uh, so not big waves, how fast can you go on this thing? Uh, probably up to 40 knots or 20 to 40 You'll knots. You'll catch most things that are out there? Yeah. Okay. So the, the group itself, which consists of North Force, the Pilbara Regiment and the 51st Battalion, the Far North Queensland Regiment, we are responsible for the provision of reconnaissance and surveillance in support of national sovereignty and border protection. So that's our primary role. But we also have a really critical role in Indigenous engagement and development. We have the largest percentage of Indigenous soldiers integrated into our units in the Defence Force. And we're very proud of our history of working with Indigenous Australians to defend this country and the opportunities that we provide for Indigenous Australians in remote areas. So they are our two primary roles. A visit from the Commander-in-Chief and the Governor-General is always a very auspicious event. Uh, it's wonderful for our soldiers who get the opportunity to display the skill sets that they uh, use in support of our nation, so it's a great opportunity for them. And for the capability, it's a wonderful opportunity for us to showcase to the Governor-General and therefore to uh, some of the nation via the media what it is we do on behalf of the nation every day. The RFSG employs a significant number of Indigenous soldiers, with the units representing the highest rates of Indigenous participation within the Army. We run certain pathway programs as well because we realise that there can be a degree of disadvantage in some remote parts of the country where people don't always have access to some of the medical assistance or educational services that they might elsewhere. So we run some of those pathway programs uh, in Army and through the group to assist in the attainment of additional education to assist with physical fitness, to remediate medical issues and provide people with such opportunities. Uh, the Army Indigenous Development Program is a, a course that provides that. It runs for five months and it provides young men and women the opportunity to get to a level where they can undertake recruit training and join the full-time or part-time force.